This is going to be a quick demonstration of using the tabulator extension in Firefox to edit data in the data, public data space area, the sort of wiki data space area that we've set up using the Sparkle update protocol. So let's start off uh, in Firefox uh, looking for tabulator. So at the moment we have the top Google hit, and if we go to this the tabulator page, you'll find information about how to find how to install the Firefox extension. It's a fairly straightforward install, and uh, I've already done it on this device so that you can uh, so we can continue. When you've got the Firefox extension installed, then your eyes for documents will show you documents, and your, your eyes for things will show you about things. At the bottom, there's a link to for example, the URI of one thing, the tabulated project as a, as, a, as a thing, and you can see that this URI for the tabulator consists of the URI of a document, and then within that document, the local identifier of the thing. So uh, if we look at the tabulator, there are various, here are the, on the left are the RDF predicates, for those who are into RDF uh, details and the objects on the right, but we can open up the objects so we can look at more details we can look, for example, at uh, as germ, open up information. As we pull in Jim's faux file, we get information about him. And we can do that and browse all the way across the semantic web. But let's not do that now. We're going to edit something. Now that you've got the extension run nice things is that you can bookmark things. One of the things I have bookmarked in my version is the is a class. This is how it shows a class. This is a list of things in the class of open link data projects. We can look at the uh, metadata about the class. This is the RDFS data about it. Label on it, it's comment. And there's also a link to uh, it, to the wiki, the normal uh, HTML wiki about it. But now let's just let's go to the uh, list of projects. Suppose I want to add something to this. Uh, if I click within the predicate area, this is the relationship between the class and it would say, I suppose, formally is instance of, we don't write that, we just leave the list of, uh, of, uh, of things. Suppose I want to add another thing in this class, uh, another open data project. You see the blue plus, if I click on that, now I'm prompted. I'm prompted for a list of things for, of, of, of different predicates. Uh, oh, sorry, of different things on is fairly unsorted at the moment. But in fact, what I want to do is I want to talk about something new. So if I click on the new, it gives me a URI. It's N18. At the moment, it just displays N18 because it doesn't know anything more about it. Let me correct that by adding into it. Uh, I want to add information about a name. So here, what I do now is that there's auto completion on the predicates. So if I type NA, in fact, now I'm down to two names. Uh, in most versions, it tells you which one is faux from which one is dope. I'm going to uh, uh, pick one and put in uh, the whatever project demo only. And so now I have edited. I've added now two triples to the database. And what's happened is every time I've, added, I've actually edited a triple, the so the client has sent back a Sparkle update message to the server, and that has the server has confirmed that the edit's been changed, and then the uh, data on the screen has been uh, has been changed, and the data and the data store inside the Firefox extension has been updated. So now I've got the fact that this has got a name. If I uh, close it up, if I pick the right name, you can see now the tabulator can. And I, I can uh, close this all up and then open it all up again. And I'll find in there uh, we've got where's this uh, the one I added the whatever project demo only, and I can put uh, the plus. Then allows me to add new predicates. So the plus will allow me to add, for example, let me add a comment. Uh, let's click on that one. This is just a demo. Delete me. Uh, let me add also, as this is a, a project, it'll have uh, both developers. Now, when I add something which is not a literal, which is not just a string, 
if I add a developer, now I can choose by the titles, names, the labels, anything which is a uh, an RDF label, RDFS label, sub property of that. So, for example, uh, have we got any developers in here? Yes, James Hollenbach is a developer. Let's add him as a developer of this. Um, so now I've made a link, a, a, a statement linking the project, the whatever project, and James Hollenbach. If I click on developer itself, then I don't. I can add more data. I can add it specifically with the right hand class more developers, so I don't have to go through the process of choosing the predicate. I can just add another one. Uh, uh, am I in there? Yes, we've got information about me. You can see that it's easiest to link to things that the tabulator has already found. So if you're going to make links between things, it's good to explore, load them all in, and uh, load the files which have already got, uh, got those things in. Then you can address them by name, because the user interface is designed to deal with the things, the, the labels that people expect to use for things, not the URIs, whenever possible. So that's basically how you enter data. Then you'll notice that the, that the files we've been editing that are editable are in this uh, space which is in a wiki area. You can, in fact, create new files in there just by uh, pretending they exist and then adding data to them. Uh, so do go ahead and do that. Uh, I should also demonstrate that you can uh, c come back later or at the same time when you, if you get something wrong, uh, you can... Uh, delete things with the delete button. So I can, um, as I delete things from it, if I delete, in fact, the fact that, that it has that type, then if I look back at the open link project, then it's gone. So, in fact, I should remove that one, which was a, another, uh, another demonstration one. So now we have, in fact, 15 bona fide open link data projects, which, uh, is a, in fact, there are many more in the regular wiki, so do feel free to add more information about them. Do take the software, do play with Sparkle Update, uh, do download the tabulator extension. It is all very alpha. The extension itself, particularly, is very alpha, and uh, but uh, it will be improving, we hope, with time. Thank you very much for listening.